coming to terms with the fact that I'm not a, a glamour puss anymore. I'm still interested in dancing a little bit. And um, I'm interested in people, I like people. I got tap shoes, I was tapping away. It was incredible because I wasn't taught, but I was tap dancing. And then oh, the next thing in the dancing line was when I got married uh, because Jeff and I, we had, I had no idea that we'd dance so well together. It was just amazing, you know, we glided around the room, all the, the tangos and the old numbers. And we went to Sunny Dearden School then in Ho Street, that's Walton Star. And he said, well, come on, you two. He said, you've got the makings. You've already, he said, you've already got a bronze. Let's go for the silver. So we were elated, weren't we, walking home. <laughs> Three or four weeks later, I'm pregnant, aren't I? So that put the kibosh on that. So, And then I never started again until, well, well, till after I was married, really. I was auditioned, I was selected, I was trained as a tiller girl. But it was so ridiculous. I mean, they were so strict. I mean, you had to be in at nine o'clock at night and you couldn't do this, you couldn't wear makeup. And we were getting nine pound a week, which was ridiculous. I was working with girls that were earning 16 pound a week, which was enormous in those days. So I very quickly put down my tap shoes and I went solo. Then I've got three kids, you know, that I just support, you know, on my own, being a one parent family, so. A lady from the British Legion asked me if I knew anybody who could knit. So I said, well, all my ladies can knit. So she said, we want a lot to send over to Afghanistan. So what I did, I put a notice in the Guardian, and within about seven or eight days, I got 157 letters, all went in to know what, where the patterns they wanted, the war and everything. And we, when I got to a 1,000, we sent them over then, and they just kept coming in and coming in. We must have sent over about 2,000 in the end.